Salutations of peace and love. This is Tehuti Ma'atara speaking, and you're listening to my pre-recorded broadcast here on Spreaker.com. This broadcast is brought to you by Tehuti Ma'atara Herbs.com, abbreviated DMRHerbs.com. That's right, DMRHerbs.com. That's D as in dynamic, M as in magic, and R as in radiant. Topic requests can be made by email by sending an email to me directly at dmrherbs at gmail.com. In this very first Spreaker.com broadcast, I'm going to explain why I am now using Spreaker.com to communicate with the public and also why I, for the most part, have been off the public scene the past couple of years. Those of you who are familiar with my videos that were formerly uploaded to youtube.com know that I used to record videos like crazy. I think I had about 800 videos uploaded to YouTube before that channel was taken down in 2013. You know, it's a trip being off the scene and looking at what a lot of people are going through with YouTube and their videos being flagged and their sites or channels being taken down for the most part under alleged hate speech. In my case, it wasn't hate speech. It was just excessive flagging. Anybody could come along and just Flag your videos, flag your channel because they didn't like the content, which is a little trippy considering that folks like myself are in the United States of America where there is freedom of speech or so we believe or so we have been led to believe. But nevertheless, In 2013, that channel, despite all the information, despite all the energy, despite all the effort that went into that channel, it was snatched away because of a few individuals. But that is society for you. So I've been off the scene for several years for the most part. As far as information coming to the public via video or even audio for that matter. Now, as far as written content, I've been on Twitter and I've been on the tootiematraherbs.com website in the blog section. And a lot of the information on the tootiematraherb.com website is actually old information that has been edited, uh, mistakes or typos corrected, and in some cases, new information added. However, most people ascended in love with the videos. But what a lot of people didn't understand about the videos during my YouTube tenure was I had a difficult time with the popularity that came along with those YouTube videos. I wasn't prepared for that. No one told me about that. I had no idea that popularity was going to come along with making those videos. And in all due honesty, had I known, I probably would not have recorded the videos. Now, I'm a public person, I'm a social person, but at the same time, I'm a private person. And that probably sounds oxymoronical, but nevertheless, I'm both. And it's in my birth chart. It's actually in my birth chart that I am a private person, but also a public person. So with myself, it boils down to balance. And in all due honesty, I didn't have the balance back then. And as I began to learn what the YouTube videos 
would entail as far as popularity and also being in demand. When I learned that midway through, I did attempt to put up some safeguards, some barriers. However, I wasn't successful. The people that I attempted to utilize for that just couldn't get the job done. So it's not like I didn't learn and didn't attempt to do something about it. I did. The result was just a deficiency. And so I realized that I would have to make an escape. This is why people, when the YouTube channel was taken down, I really didn't trip. Because what a lot of people didn't know was that a prayer was answered. Because it was really kicking my butt, the popularity. It was crazy. I couldn't travel. I couldn't go to cities without being recognized. I couldn't go shopping at Whole Foods Market. You know, I couldn't walk down the street. There were a lot of things I couldn't do. And I wasn't used to that. I'm a meditative person and I meditate often and I meditate in the most unorthodox ways. And I learned that from my man Osho. I'm very unorthodox when it comes to meditation. For me, for example, walking is meditative to me. I'm walking in or on autopilot mode, but my mind is in fault. And usually about what I'm going to say, whether it be video, whether it be audio, or whether it be the written word. For the most part, I'm always in thought. And when you become popular and you're doing what is naturally meditative to you and you're constantly interrupted, it's a very frustrating thing. And people don't mean any harm. People are just being people. They see you so much on a screen. And so it's like television. It has a television-like effect. And so you become somewhat sort of a star. You're, you're a online star, an online celebrity or a cyberspace luminary. So it, people don't really mean any harm. People are just being people in general. Now, people behave in a way that I myself would not necessarily behave. I'm just not that type of person. Or I have not been that type of person since I started to work on myself, since I started to develop myself, to cultivate myself. I'm not that type of individual. As much as I admire the acting of Denzel Washington, if I saw Denzel in public, especially eating, holding a burger in his hand, about to take a bite out of it, I would not walk up to Denzel and say, hey, Denzel, you know, I watch your movies or, you know, you're my favorite actor or whatever. I just wouldn't do that. But that's me. And I had to come to grips. I had to come to terms with the fact that most people in, in general are, are not cultivated or, or developed uh, to the degree that myself and others are. Whereby we have worked on self-governance, self-ruled, self-regulated. And that's understandable. And it took me some time to come to that realization. So the time off has been very effective, very beneficial. I've had a lot of time to reflect on things. And a lot of things occurred since 2013, so much has occurred. And if I was still on YouTube, so much information would have been diffused. So much. Because so much happened. I learned so much because I experienced so much. It was actually a rich time. No, I know for the most part, it was the punitive-based legal divorce 
that was the like the greatest experience. That was like the greatest experience. And it was also the most time consuming. So if I was still making videos, I would have dropped so much information on family law, the family court, divorce, child support, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And for those of you out there in the listening audience who don't know what the word drop means, that is slang for divulge or diffuse or disseminate. I would have disseminated, I would have divulged so much information in general, family law matters in particular, if I was still on YouTube. That would have been a trip too, because I'm quite sure some of the cases would have turned into Motions for injunctions, because I would have been giving up so much information when I battle people. You know, when I battle people, there are certain individuals who desire to battle me. Despite knowing the history, despite knowing what I possess at my disposal. And. In battling back, these same individuals would have turned into victims, even though they were the ones who started the battle. When I battle back, when I hit back, and when I hit back, I hit back hard. I'm from 105th Street in South Central Los Angeles, and my homeboys, I have never met anybody on planet Earth like my homeboys. When we hit back, I mean, we hit back back and usually below the belt. And that's just in me. And I still have that in me, but it's controlled nowadays. It's very controlled, but nevertheless, it's still there. And then I just happen to have Mars and Gemini in my birth chart. I'm a Taurus sun sign. I'm a Scorpio ascendant. You put it all together and you kind of get an idea of who I am and when I strike back, how I strike back. But over the years, there have been individuals who have attempted to jump up and to battle. And when I battle back, they morph into victims. And then it turns into help, help. I need help to who these relentless He's lighting fire to my ass. I mean, he's serving me on a silver platter with a side of romaine, lettuce, and tomatoes. Help. Your honor, help. Attorney, help. (laughs) And that's how it is with these individuals who attempt to battle. Now, if I was making videos during the punitive based divorce, it would have been the same thing because I most definitely would have been giving up specific information because I'm the type of person, I don't have anything to hide. One thing about myself that I learned, one thing about myself that I recognized over the years is that I am a public person pertaining to my work, pertaining to what I do. In my birth chart, my midheaven is in Leo. Midheaven, 10th sign, corresponding with Capricorn. Business, social, social face, public, public persona, public face. It's in Leo. And Leo's astrological statement is, I shine. So I'm a public person, and if you put me out front or if you put me in the public, I'm going to shine, at least pertaining to what I do. At least pertaining to what I do. And what I do involves, in large part, is communication. Talking, divulging, oration. That's a large part of what I do. And I have learned over the years that pertaining to that, that particular aspect, I'm going to shine. It is in my chart. So 
Looking back in retrospect, it's funny how certain individuals know about me, know my platform, feared that platform, but still would attempt to battle. And if I was on YouTube going through this divorce, divulging so much information that the opponent, who just happens to be the ex-wife, <laughs> and her plethora of lawyers, I'm quite sure there would have been several motions for injunctions to shut me up or to silence me from divulging certain information. And of course, I would have struck back on constitutional grounds. You know, it somewhat went there. It, it wasn't public, but that did come up. That did come up during the litigation. Um, things that centered on constitutional grounds, free speech. And it was minor. It was something that was easily knocked out. Um, not to say that I wasn't looking forward to that fight because I love to argue the Constitution. I mean, hell, I just love to argue law in general. So it didn't happen. Would have made for some great uh, videos, but didn't take place. But now I am on Spreaker.com. I have a new venue to share information about my personal life and then also things about society in general. And Lord knows a lot of things are going on in the world. And I still get emails from people asking for my commentary on the things that are going on. Now, I haven't been on the scene really in five years. So think about all the things that have transpired in the past several years, the past five years. And for those of you who are familiar with me, you know that I come from a spiritual metaphysical perspective in my commentary. So for everything that is going on in the world, no matter how it looks, there is a spiritual metaphysical component to it. There is a spiritual metaphysical side to it. Things don't just happen just to happen. We're on planet Earth. The planet of serious life lessons. We're on planet Earth that just happens to be a fourth ray zone. And is known to be the only planet that functions or operates or vibes off of the fourth ray energy. And I know a lot of people are not familiar with the fourth ray zone what that is or what that means. Fourth ray is basically energy that denotes order ab kea or keo. Order ab keo. Order out of chaos. Planet Earth operates from fourth ray zone energy. Order out of chaos. This planet experiences chaos and the polarity of chaos, which is order. It goes back and forth. Now, the planet will never just be chaos and it will never just be order. It goes back and forth and that's what keeps planet Earth in motion. That's what keeps the planet ticking the way that it does and to the degree that it does. It's a natural energy. And unfortunately, most people on planet Earth, especially here in the Western world, the capital or headquarters of the Matrix, they don't understand that. They don't understand. There are forces that are pro-chaos. And then there are forces that are pro-peace. And it's really perfect. It's really perfect. It's duality. 
is like what you see in certain movies. The hero and then the nemesis or the anti-hero. That's fourth ray. Order out of chaos. Duality. Good versus bad. Negative versus positivity. It's duality. Planet Earth is a fourth ray zone, but it's also a duality zone. Up, down, black, white, male, female, rich, poor, Democrat, Republican, Crip, blood. Yes, Crip, blood. (laughs) But you get my point. Duality. So planet Earth is very interesting. And when you have done your personal homework, not schoolwork, but homework, then you understand planet Earth and you don't trip on all of the things that are going on in society, especially in recent years. And it's a lot going on. But for those of us who have eyes to see and ears to hear, we know what's going on. And we know we have a responsibility to extract lessons from what's going on. Planet Earth is a school, it's a school. It's a school in operation 24-7. And there are so many lessons to learn. And that will be learned. Perhaps not in one lifetime on this planet. But will be learned. Even if it takes multiple lifetimes, those lessons are going to be learned. That's why you signed up to attend the University of Planet Earth. Yes, you signed up for it. See, when you really understand this planet, the word victim is not in the lexicon. It's not a part of the vocabulary. Because everything has been chosen. Yes, everything. And you have to be very careful saying that. Now, I'm safe here on Spreaker.com saying that, but if I was on YouTube saying that, I would catch a lot of hell. Perhaps the particular video will be flagged. Because if you say that you chose everything because you wrote your life script, that would include certain things that we deem or dub to be negative. Like falsely imprisoned, beaten by the police, sexually assaulted, such as rape, being robbed, etc. So ignorant people, uncultivated people, underdeveloped people who consciously and unconsciously embrace victimship, victimhood, They would take your words to state that these individuals chose to be harmed. They chose to be raped. They chose to be sexually molested. They chose to be robbed. They chose to be beaten by the police. They chose to be falsely imprisoned. And a victim can't deal with that truth. Because to deal with that truth is to empower. There is power in the realization of one writing his or her own life script. Because that means that you create your reality. And we all do. Whether we believe that or not. It's a fact. And it happens every single day. That's right. Creating our realities 
happen every single day by deliberate intention or by default. Realities are being created every single day. And most people are unaware. Most people are creating their realities by default. And that's why the masses of the people on the planet do not have the lives and or the lifestyles that they desire because they don't understand certain dynamics. They don't understand certain laws. They're just here as passengers, not pilots, but passengers. And when you when you are a passenger on a vehicle such as a plane, you don't dictate to where the plane is going. You're just along for the ride. The only exception is knowing where a particular vehicle is going, where it is starting from and where it is going to end up at. Very limited. But in cases where that plane, that vehicle is hijacked, you don't have any control in the destination of that vehicle, of that plane. But where, wherever it is going, you are going with it. And that's how it is in life, people. That's how it is in life. Most people are passengers on the plane, on the vehicle of their very own lives. It's their life. But somebody else is the pilot. Think about that. That's very heavy there. Somebody else is the pilot of your life. Operative term, your. It's your life. But somebody else is the pilot. Somebody else is driving your life. Somebody else is dictating your life. Think about that. You're not going to end up living the life that you desire if somebody else is driving your life. Again, operative term, your. You're not going to end up where you desire to end up. You're a passenger. Your word doesn't count even for your life in such a scenario. Now think about that. So when you understand, when you understand what I'm saying, you then understand why most people, the masses of the people have the very lives that they have because they live by default because they were well programmed. They were well programmed. And they signed off on that programming. And that programming came in the form of ignorant, uninformed parents, family members, religious leaders, educators, teachers, professors, instructors. Television. Television can be within media, newspapers, magazines, television, the big screen, movies. You put it all together and you have undue influence. That programmed the masses of the people to operate on default mode for their very own lives. Which explains why they have the lives that they do. And why they are not happy. It goes back to being a passenger on one's very own vehicle of existence. 
See, it's very simple when you understand. Many times I'll get requests from people to explain how it is that I can be so happy and so jubilant during such dark times. Now, remember, planet Earth is a planet of duality. So if we have dark times, the polarity of dark times would be light times. Positive times are good times, which does exist. And being on this planet, you have to understand frequency. You also have to understand free will. You have choice. You cannot have duality and not have choice. In order to have a choice, in order to be able to make a choice, you have to have two or more things. You know, I have Christian friends. And it's very funny when they tell me they chose to be Christians. And again, when you understand that in order to make a choice, there must be two or more things in which to make the choice in order to make a selection. There has to be two or more things. But again, the Christian will tell me that they chose Jesus Christ. They chose Christianity. And so I simply ask the, the, the Christian, what other religion, what other faith did they compare to Christianity in order to make the choice, the conscious choice of being a Christian? Was it Christianity contrasted with Judaism and you chose Christianity? Was it Christianity contrasted with Islam and you chose Christianity? Was it Christianity contrasted with Buddhism or Buddhism and you chose Christianity? Did you compare Christianity to Shintoism or Jainism or Zoroastrianism? What other religion or spiritual belief system or even philosophy, which Buddhism is, which one did you measure, did you contrast Christianity with in order to have made the choice of Christianity? And I kid you not, they all told me that they have never read the Quran, the Analects of, of Confucius, the Dhammapada of Buddhism or any other book. Now, the only exception is the Old Testament. That's the only exception because it's within the Bible. Which is the only book they have allegedly. And yes, I do say allegedly. It is the only book that they allegedly have read. And of course, I doubt that most of these people don't read. They simply go by the book. Literally, they go right by it. So you are dealing with people who operate on default mode. Pertaining to their very own lives. And it's dangerous because they don't understand. They don't understand the laws of duality. 
they don't understand the nature of the very planet that they live on, that they are a part of, which is order out of chaos, fourth ray zone. And because we are one with the earth, we too operate on fourth ray energy. You see it every day. You see it even in relationships. That's why you have love and hate. That's why you have marriage and divorce. It's fourth ray. You see it in politics. You see it even in religion. It's duality is fourth ray energy. And when you understand that, you don't trip on all that is going on in the world. You don't even trip on things going on in your very own life. To Hootie, how is it, man, that you can be so happy? How can you tweet almost every day that you're on top of the world or that you're feeling good or it feels good to feel good? How do you do that? And man, you just went through a very tumultuous divorce. Many people tell me it sounds stressful. And at times it was, but it wasn't nothing that I couldn't handle. Because I'm in charge of my life. I'm a pilot. I'm in charge of my life. I'm in charge of my destination. And even when it pertains to life ordeals, challenges, so-called problems, I'm still in charge. So I'm going to get a result that I desire. So no matter what I'm going through, there is a desired destination. There is a desired result. I'm going to get it because I am going to use certain laws that are at my disposal. And because planet Earth is a planet with a buffer of time, I know that I have to be patient because of that buffer of time. But nevertheless, I'm going to get there. Because I understand. And for those of you who embrace overstand, then just apply it. I understand. I overstand. I understand, etc., etc., etc. So I don't trip. Not at all. Now, in all due honesty, I did think a lot about people in general, men in particular, that if they were in my shoes, it would not have turned out the way it did for me. You would have dealt with incarceration, loss of property, I don't want to include children in property, but loss of children included. Criminal record. Possibly suicide. A lot of people don't know that each year 2000 men commit suicide. And the things that I went through, the things that I experienced firsthand I came away understanding why each year 2,000 men decide to end it. It's no joke. It's no joke. Family law in general, divorce in particular, especially when The situations or the ordeals are predicated upon treachery. When they are insidious. 
driven by spite. A person being vindictive, operating off of malice. It's no joke. It's no joke. A lot of money is involved. Time is involved. Energy is involved. And if you're not cultivated, if you have not worked on yourself, if you have not done the work in order to have the necessary energy reserve, it will zap you. It will zap your energy. This is why so many people throw in the towel. I've watched videos whereby men battled their former mate, their ex-mate for years at a cost of thousands of dollars, sometime into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And after a while, they threw in the towel. They were zapped. They just gave up, including on their children. Including on their children. Why? Because their energy was zapped. And this is why you have to do the work on yourself. Because remember, on planet Earth, you're going to go through some things. This is a planet of problems. You were born to experience, to go through problems. Because problems, from a spiritual, metaphysical perspective, are opportunities. Opportunities to learn. Opportunities to grow. Opportunities to develop. Problems are not bad things. Again, it boils down to perspective and perception. And you have to understand that because remember, you're on a planet of duality. So you can see things two ways, not just one way, but two ways. Not just one, but two. And you have to understand that dealing with duality, two. Now you have a choice. Remember, planet Earth is also a free will zone. So you do have a choice to see things just one way on the planet of duality, which is really not to your benefit, but you have it under free will. So if you choose to see just dark times, then that's what you will see pursuant to your choice predicated upon free will. That's your right. It may not serve you, but it is your right. See, for me personally, that's what makes planet Earth so awesome. This is an awesome planet. It really is. And you know what? This matrix is also awesome. Now, you have to understand perspective in order to say what I just did. It's awesome. It is so freaking awesome. It's awesome. So over the course of a couple of years, I've gone through a lot of things. But they didn't break me. They didn't stop me from being who I am, what I incarnated on this planet to do. Didn't stop me one bit. I know who I am. I know why I'm here. I know what it is I am supposed to do and that I am doing. Which plays a role in me going through things and also navigating things with ease, at least compared to other people 
who are not aware, who are not developed, who are not cultivated. We all go through things. But as far as the ease involved, it's predicated upon certain things like awareness or consciousness. Right knowledge. Understanding of laws, controlling laws. And that's in holistic fashion. Not just spiritual law, but also man-made law. You can never forget duality. There are spiritual people who have mastered spiritual law. But they're in jail right now because they didn't understand man-made law. There are certain individuals who are materially rich but spiritually bankrupt. There's duality. Material riches, spiritual riches. Material bankruptcy, spiritual bankruptcy. Spirituality, metaphysics, the tangible, the intangible. All deals with law, various laws. It's not just one law, but various laws. And it is your and my duty to learn those laws in order to use those laws in order to be at one with those laws. To be in compliance with those laws. There is so much that I could say in this one broadcast. However, I have unlimited time on this particular medium in which to share. And that is exactly what I plan to do. Talk about the various subject matters that are dear to me and also dear to you. There's just so much to talk about. And in holistic fashion, not just from the mundane, but the opposite of the mundane, which is the spiritual or the metaphysical. There is so much to be gained from all that is going on in the world and also in our very own lives. There is so much to be gained. Personally, I live for it. And that's been a great benefit the past couple of years. Because I've had a lot of me time. A lot of quote unquote down time. It's like the seed in the darkness Down in the earth, taking root to serve as the foundation of a huge growth. Like a huge tree, a large redwood tree. I mean, the tallest trees have the longest and strongest roots. To hold them up. There's a metaphysics to that. That pertains. To us. As people. That's going to do it for. This broadcast. However. There are many more. To come. Many of you. Have requested this. And you now have your answer. I like audio more than video. 
audio will make my voice known, but it's not like video that makes your face or your image known. So I feel more comfortable with audio followed by the written word as contrasted to video. Because video is like being a celebrity or a star. Recognizable. And that's something that I do not desire. For the longest, I would ask of the universe, of the celestial helpers, the angels, the spirit guides. How do I do what I have incarnated to do? How do I do what I'm good at doing without losing me, without losing my privacy? Because in this regard, in this respect, I want my cake and to eat it too. And that was a challenge for me. But ask and ye shall receive. And I did. And I did receive. And so here we are. I want to thank you for listening to this audio. And as I just said, there will be plenty more to come. I truly enjoy this medium. I'm able to do it by cell phone, holding it in my hand as I pace back and forth or stand still, what have you. I'm very comfortable with it. I enjoy it. So I look forward to many more broadcast and the majority of the broadcast will be pre-recorded although there is a function for live streams i'm going to have to play around with that to master that before i actually go live in most cases the broadcast will be pre-recorded i'm more comfortable at pre-recorded broadcasting than live broadcasting not that i can't handle it It's just that you take the calls and people have questions and a lot of times you can go off in left field, which is not a bad thing. For those of you who have watched previous videos or listened to previous audios, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it's it's all synchronistic for me. I bring it, you know, full circle. It's all interrelated. And this is why in the past, my videos were three and four or five hours. I'd start off talking about the Titanic and end up talking about Charles Manson, (laughs) but I would bring it home. There's just so much to learn so much. So with that, I leave you in peace and love and in preparation of the next broadcast here on Spreaker.com and brought to you by TehudiMatraHerbs.com. The only place that you can purchase authentic products made by myself. I understand all the fraud that is still going on out there. I do certain things as a way to counter a lot of things that are going on in society. That a lot of people get injured by or that a lot of a lot of people are stalled. They, they can't move forward because they just don't know. So I do my best to do things to put people at ease and say, hey, this is me right here. You know, this is an authentic website owned by myself or associated by myself. So, yes, I will get the credit. Yes. You know, I will get the proceeds. And I understand where people are coming from. And I appreciate that. I greatly appreciate that. So to is the only place you're going to find authentic products made by myself. And there will be future broadcasts that will explain the importance of one's brand and how to protect that brand. Because when that brand is associated with high quality, when that brand is associated with an individual, a highly respected individual, you have underdeveloped, uncultivated people out there who are also lazy and they will attempt to tarnish 
such a brand in an attempt to use such a brand for their own benefit, for their own motives. My motives are to help humanity, to uplift fallen humanity, not to make a buck. I've never been about that. I understand Matthew 633 all too well. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness and then all things of the world, material things, mundane things will be added unto you. I understand that. So I'm able to do my spiritual thing, my metaphysical thing and still generate cash flow. And you can too. You may not know right now. You may not even have the tools right now or the awareness of the tools, but they're right before you. The only thing that you're missing is consciousness and knowledge. So stay tuned for more broadcasting by Tahuti Mat right here on Spreaker.com. And again, if you have topic requests, send me an email at dmrherbs at gmail.com. It's a personal email I set up. It's personal and business because I don't like to give out my personal email address because even though I've been off the scene for a couple of years, it has not stopped the inundation of emails that I get on a daily and weekly basis, which is a lot. And still, I'm just one man. So with that, people, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Peace and love.